Carl here from Games Brains and Headbang Love GBHBL.com for short solo reaction. Got to get this done because I love this band. They deserve a little bit of attention. The video is brand stonking new. The track is brand new. And want to give them a massive shout out because it is a killer piece of music. I've heard the track already. It was covered in a single slam on Friday evening, but not seen the video. Want to see what goes with this banger of a track? That's what we're here for. We're going to have a look at the video and not along. Maybe headbang along to Trent Kill's new track, Step Inside. A band we've covered a lot in the past. A band uh, we greatly admire. Doing killer shit, to be honest, man. They've not done anything wrong in the last couple of years. And it feels like they're just chipping away, chipping away, chipping away and getting more and more attention. That is more and more deserved. Uh, kind of hoping this band has got big things planned next year. Kind of hoping they end up on a lot of festivals that we're going to be out. Just want to see them do great, great shit. Um, so, yeah. It's Trend Kill. I hope you know them. I hope you're as excited as I am to check this out. We're going to look at Step Inside. Let's do this now. Straight in there, man. And more. Walking by with your direction, I know. 
end. Cool video. Uh, Loki Films, unsurprisingly, doing a great job as always. Um, and uh, Trendkill really thrown it all into that. Like the band's movement, their facial reactions feel very professional, doesn't it? It feels really, really professional. Uh, but that's the vibe that Trendkill often give off. But they are just a little step ahead. They just need that little bit more attention on them uh, to really, really blow up. This is Step Inside, I should say. This is the first single from their second EP, Blood for the Crown, uh, that'll be coming at some point in the future. Can't wait to hear that, because based on this track, we've got a heavy, heavy head, banging, banging, banging EP to look forward to. There's so much to love about that track. I absolutely think the rest are stonkingly fucking good. There's this constant thickness for A, no matter what's going on, no matter what direction it's taken, no matter how the vibe goes and what other instruments are doing, whether it's the drum taking a different pattern, whether it's the bass going off in a little bit of a tangent, it's got this thick riff feel all the way through it. At times, I think there's like a certain trivium-esque feel to them as well, uh, particularly sometimes, you know, vocally. Uh, there, there's a little bit of math, that heathy heathy vibe to it but not so like oh, not so like so familiar that it's like oh that sounds like matt heathy it's more just sort of aspects here as well but then you've got these parts particularly in the, in the, i'm talking about the vocals here where at the end of a particular line or what it go high like classic heavy metal like you know like i'm not gonna try and do it but you know that high pitch sort of like heavy metal scream that you might have thought or heard back in the 80s from like a dr or something like that vocals vocals are immense i really love how they sound across it and backed up by that thick and chunky constant riff attack is amazing uh it's really cool that as it sort of get near the end you've got this kind of da -da 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 thing and then you get that solo as well which starts off really what seems like it's going to just be a very straightforward and a solo but then gets really complex as well i love that little touch i think it's those little touches that you know stop the lethargy sort of sinking in we're a bit like okay it's doing the same rhythm over again i've got like 30 seconds to go and i'm i've heard enough and it's like oh no here's something fresh to keep really really interesting Music like that's heavy like that shouldn't be that infectious, I think. I think that's catchy as well. Uh, the chorus, obviously, in particular, is something you can easily get behind. From the moment you get that first burst of just where it's designed to make you go headbang over and over again. You can picture that in live, live. you can picture a crowd all doing that alongside the band uh, and it looking simply incredible. Stuff like that, that's the infectious quality of Trend Killer, I think, in general. I think it's something that defines them as a band these days, that they can sound really, really heavy, really, really mean, really fresh, modern and intense, but also really, really infectious with a certain level of accessibility that just works for me because I like my music on the heavier side and it's still quite heavy, but I also really like music that gets under your skin, gets in your veins and makes you want to hum it and sing it along afterwards. And that will get the attention of, of people who maybe aren't into this style of music because it has those infectious riffs, those infectious rhythms, those, that catchy chorus and so on. That's the kind of shit that makes you a star. That's the kind of shit that gets more and more eyes and ears on what you are doing, which Trend killed more than deserve. It's another banger. I love it. Can't wait to see what Blood for the Crown has to offer. But for now, step inside. What do you reckon? You got any thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at gbhbl.com, our full website, where reviews, news, and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at GBHBL. Just search for GBHBL and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.